Hello, everybody. Welcome to Power Yoga. Child's pose, please. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Alex, and I will be guiding you through your power sequence. So for child's pose, bring the tips of the big toes to touch, knees spread nice and wide. Hands reach forward on your mat, spread the fingers nice and wide. Perfect. Forehead resting lightly on the mat, and the eyes are open here, breathing normal in and out through the nose. And try to keep the breath in and out through the nose throughout your entire practice. So setting that up right here, right now. As you begin to settle into your mat, settle into your practice, slow the breath, slow the mind, and just start to tune into your body. And we'll begin our class by breathing together. So wherever you're at, take an exhale, empty your lungs, and then together, nice and big, inhale, fill your lungs, fill your belly, get big, get full, and then hold the breath at the very top. Exhale, follow the breath all the way to the bottom, Take your time, let it get all the way out. Nice, and then another big inhale. Same thing, get big, get full. Feel your lungs, feel your belly. Nice and big and full, hold it there. Exhale and follow the breath all the way to the bottom. Beautiful, last time, one big inhale. Make this the biggest the fullest, the deepest breath of air that you can take in right here, big and full. And exhale into your yoga practice. Get soft, get heavy. Beautiful, and stay in contact with your breath. Don't let anything prevent you from staying aware of each breath that you take. As soon as you lose awareness of breath, you've lost your posture, you've lost your practice. So stay with your breath. Nice and simply, just move to all fours here. So eyes forward, hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips, beautiful. Still awareness on breath. And we'll start with some cat cows together, continuing to stay in touch with our breath. So exhale, round the spine, and look in towards your navel. Beautiful, press out of the palms, squeeze all the air out. And then inhale for a cat spine. Nice, perfect. Take your time. You want about six seconds for that full inhale, eyes up and eyes back. Exhale, round the spine, tuck the chin into the chest. Beautiful, look down at your navel. Nice, Jamie, beautiful, Maria, so good. Another inhale here, take your time. Big, slow, full breaths of air, lifting the tailbone. And exhale, round the spine. Cat pose, beautiful, Jamie, so good. Tuck the chin, squeeze the air. You want to use your abdominals here, pulling the belly button into the spine, squeeze the lungs empty. Another inhale, beautiful, nice, taking your time, full, full breaths of air, eyes up, eyes back, and exhale, blow it out, squeeze the belly, chin down to the chest, nice, Winnie, so good. And for the last time, a big full inhale. Use the entire lung capacity, fill your belly up, big full lungs, eyes up, eyes back, and exhale, squeeze all the air out. Take your time, use the full six seconds to empty the lungs to the bottom. Nice change, just come back to all fours, eyes are forward, pick a spot, keep your eyes focused there on your drishti. And we'll go into some spinal balancing here. So bring the right arm forward, left leg back. Keep the shoulders square, hips square, eyes are still forward. Nice, Catherine, so good. Stretch the leg back, locked knee, pointed toes, beautiful. And the core is engaged, so Jamie, fire the core. Keep the hips nice and square. And then bring that arm out to the right and leg out to the left, perfect. Keeping the shoulders square and the hips square. Nice, you wanna lift the arm up a little higher, lift the leg up and flex the toes. So the toes are pulling towards the shin. There it is, Jamie, nice. Winnie, can you flex the toes so they point towards your shin? Yep. All right, now come back to center, arm forward, leg back. And look up and lift up. Don't hold the breath here, it's really tempting. Keep the breath in and out through the nose. Nice, you got this, reach up one more inch, a little bit higher. And change, bring it back to all fours. Eyes are forward, and we'll switch into the other side. Left arm forward, right leg back. Beautiful square hips, Jamie, right hip down. Nice, same thing, Lambo, right hip down just a little bit. There it is, beautiful, stretch it back, nice and long. And then bring the arm and leg out to the side. Nice, keep lifting the leg up, 
flexing the toes. Everybody's got it on this side. Yep, there it is. Core is engaged, so nice and strong and lifted through the center. And bring the arm forward, leg back. Core is still strong. And look up, lift up. Eyes up, chest up. Keep breathing. Don't lose the breath here. Lift up one more inch and change. Come back to all fours. And just press right up into your downward facing dog. So tuck the toes and the eyes will land right between the big toes. Set up a nice downward facing dog here. We're pressing the chest back towards the thighs. Fingers are spread nice and wide and feeling the breath in and out through the nose. And you can take it for a walk now. So start to tread the heels. You can go fast, slow, maybe sway the hips side to side. A little opportunity for some free movement in your down dog. Taking a moment to feel your body, see if there's any little tight spots, anything to pay attention to today, and then come back to stillness. So feet hip distance, hand shoulder distance, pressing the chest back towards the thighs, a perfect down dog, and then stretch up high onto the balls of the feet. Heels are high, but still continuing to press the chest back towards the thighs. So maintaining that down dog shape. Nice, Catherine, beautiful stretching through the arches of the feet, the bottoms of your feet. So make sure you can feel that stretch. And then bring the heels back down to the mat. Move your left foot to center. Lock out the right leg. And on an inhale, stretch the right leg back and up. Three-legged dog. Knee is locked. Toes are pointed. So beautiful, Cloud. Nice work. And stretch the toes back like you're trying to touch the wall behind you. You want length and space. A beautiful line from your right wrist all the way up to your right toes, nice square hips, so right hip in line with the left, and then bring the right foot back to the left. Lock out the left leg, and on an inhale, stretch it back, lift it up. Nice, so feeling the two hips square for a lot of bodies, the Catherine left hip down a little bit, perfect, but continuing to find length, stretching back. Same thing with the shoulders, keep the shoulders nice and square, feel the weight equal in both hands, stretching the right heel down towards the mat and breathing normal. Lunge the left foot forward all the way up to the left wrist, right foot follows. Landing at the top of our mat, feet should be about hip distance apart, grab for opposite elbows and hang in a ragdoll forward fold. Here you can take a generous bend in the knees if you need to. I have a lot of experienced yogis in the room who have big, deep forward folds. So not a lot of bend in the knees, but if you need to at home, please feel comfortable bending the knees and sway the weight side to side. Shake out the head. This should feel pretty good. And release the arms. Let them fall heavy to the mat. Keep the head heavy. And on your next inhale, engage the core and begin the process of rounding up to a stand. Take your time stacking each vertebrae, one on top of the next. Beautiful. And no rush, but once you are at the top, the head will stack and then feet together. So right foot back to left, standing at the top of your mat and towel in a standing pose, just stillness here. And let's begin with an A series. Inhale, circle, sweep the arms out, back and up, gaze up, stretch up. Exhale, swan dive, chin away from chest, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lift the gaze, straighten the back. And exhale, plant the palms, step into a high plank. Hold this first high plank. Let's set up our high plank nicely. If you have any low back pain here, okay to bring the knees down for support. If you're not bringing the knees down, make sure the core is engaged nice and strong. Your hands are stacked right under the shoulders. Feet are about hip distance. So Catherine, maybe a little more space between the two feet. Perfect, so strong. You wanna be pressing up through your upper back. So pushing between the shoulder blades, great, beautiful. Eyes are forward, that's gonna keep your spine nice and long, nice and straight. Now from here, we shift forward and lower down slowly. Hold here, low plank. Elbows are in tight, core is engaged. Thighs are active, the eyes are still forward. Hold and breathe, hold and breathe. Inhale, up dog, active thighs. Eyes up and back, pushing the chest through. Exhale, nice work everybody, roll over the toes. Press the hips high, eyes land right between the big toes, the breath is steady, in and out through the nose. Let's do that again, we'll go a little bit quicker with flow. Bend the knees, gaze forward. Step, jump, or float, top of the mat, so pretty. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift to long spine. Exhale, deeper fold, just let it go at the bottom. 
Inhale, circle, sweep the arms out, back, up, palms touch, stretch up. Exhale, swan dive, chin away from chest, a flat back all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift, fingers and toes, one line. Exhale, high plank, shift forward, lower down, nice and controlled, core engaged. Inhale, up dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. So eyes between the big toes, breath in and out through the nose. One more A series, bend the knees, gaze forward, step, jump, or float if you can float, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, deeper fold. Inhale, circle, sweep the arms out, back, and up. Exhale, swan dive. Keep the eyes forward until the very end, and then tuck the chin. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine, eyes up. Exhale, plant the palms, step or jump into that high plank and shift forward, lower down all on one exhale, pause at the bottom. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Beautiful, eyes between the big toes, little sips of air in and out through the nose. We'll move into our B series. That means a chair pose, so bend the knees, gaze forward. Step, jump, or float, top of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, deeper fold. Inhale, right into a chair pose. So the feet stay together, bent knees, arms come up, shoulder distance, and the gaze is up between the hands. Imagine you're holding a basketball right over your head, and look up, lifting the chest up, sit the hips down and back. Beautiful, core is engaged. Pinkies are spread nice and wide and spiral them in towards one another. Beautiful, keep breathing, little sips of air. We're trying to warm up the body here with a little bit of a hold. So to warm up, sit deeper, but stay with your breath. Lift the chest up a little bit higher and forward fold, let it go. Nice work, everybody. Inhale, halfway lift, eyes up, flat back. Exhale, high plank. Shift forward, chaturanga, lower down, hold it there. Then inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Nice, so notice in those up dogs, everybody here is doing a great job of keeping the thighs active. That's gonna support the sacrum. So continue to do that or bring the knees down for support, but you don't want the thighs on the ground at all. All right, one more B series. It'll be a short one. Bend the knees, gaze forward. Step, jump, or float. Top of the mat, nice, Winnie. Inhale, halfway lift, eyes up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose, just one breath. So sit all the way down into your chair. And forward fold on the exhale, nice work. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high plank. Hold this high plank. We're gonna take our modified side plank here. So move your left hand to center, left knee to the ground, right foot flat, gazing at your right thumb, open it up for the ceiling. Perfect, so everything that's on the ground should be in one line, like you're on a balancing beam. Left hand, left knee, and both feet. One clean line. The eyes are up towards your top thumb or past the thumb. Pick a spot on the ceiling, keep your eyes there. This is a warm up of the focus. So here you wanna be so focused on your drishti. Beautiful, if you'd like to advance it here, now's the opportunity. So to advance it, reach the right arm forward towards the mirror and lift the right leg up, flexing the toes back. Beautiful, continue to lift through the right middle rib cage. Eyes are focused, one spot that's gonna help you with your balance, so strong. Nice work, everybody. If you advanced it, bring it back to that side plank and hold here, everybody meet in the side plank and rotate back to a high plank. We're gonna shift right into the other side. So now move the right hand to center, drop the right knee, left foot is flat to the floor, left thumb is your drishti here and open up. Nice, Lambo, so good, beautiful. Again, everything on the floor is in one clean line and you wanna make sure we're active. So pressing the right hand into the ground, not collapsing into the right shoulder. By pressing into the floor, generating a little bit of lift, a little bit of activation. If you did it on the other side and you'd like to, again, advance. So left hand forward, lift the left leg up. You gotta use your core strength here, lifting through left middle rib cage, Nice cloud, beautiful. The correct fall here is backwards, so you almost tip the weight back right before your edge. So strong, keep breathing. 
If you advance, bring it back. And then rotate back to a high plank. Hold here. We'll take a moment. Three chaturanga push-ups, ladies. We got this. Shift forward, lower down, and press back up. If you're at home, you can always bring your knees down. Shift forward, lower down. That's two, just one more. Press back up, so strong. Last one, shift forward, lower down, and press back up. Nice, Lambo. All right, just engage your core and pivot to a downward facing dog from here. Perfect. Breathing through the nose. Hopefully those push-ups help warm us up a little bit. Straight into our warriors, starting on the right. Inhale, right leg, back and up, three-legged dog. Exhale, lunge it through, plant the back heel, and inhale, the arms go out, back and up as we come into a warrior one. Eyes are up, looking at the outside knuckle of the crossed thumbs, if you can. If that's too much on your neck, keep the eyes forward. Beautiful work to square the hips here. So left hip forward, right hip back, perfect Lambo, nice. So good, elbows are straight. Back leg is locked, and the back foot's at about a 70 degree angle, making sure the front knee doesn't bow in. Nice, still breathing in and out of the nose, and awareness on breath. Beautiful, open it up, warrior two. Big step forward, take up space on your mat. Here, the heels are in one line, the back foot becomes parallel to the back of the mat. The arms are long and strong. Front knee is not bowing in, it's pointed perfectly straight over the big toe, core work. Core is engaged throughout your class. Keep pulling your core in, nice. Shoulders are stacked directly over the hips. So Catherine, pull the left hand back just a little bit. Yep, there it is, so good. Nice, Maria, so strong. Chin to front, shoulder, there it is. All right, hold here, core is engaged. And cartwheel back to the mat, high plank. Shift forward, lower down, halfway, elbows in. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, roll over the toes, press the hips high, downward facing dog. Same thing, left side, inhale, left leg back and up. Exhale, lunge it through, plant the back heel and inhale, warrior one. So as we step into that warrior one, arms go out, back and up, that's opening the shoulders up and again, squaring the hips off. That means a right hip forward, a left hip back on this side. Make sure your back leg is locked out. It's not just straight, but you're squeezing your quadricep and your hamstring to the bone. That's gonna help protect the knee joint. Bending the front knee and sitting into the front knee just a little bit, but pulling on the front heel so you're still active through your front leg. Your base is strong and supported. Core is engaged, so pulling the middle ribs down, keeping the core nice and strong. Elbows locked, eyes up, staying with your breath. Open up, a big warrior two. Nice strong step forward, a clean transition between one and two. So nothing extra to think about. You just open right up and stick it, boom. Your best example of a warrior two. The back leg is locked out, and again, make sure it's active. So you're squeezing the muscles in the leg. That's gonna support your knee joint. You don't wanna just hyperextend and sit in a locked out leg, but it's gotta be active and strong. Here, squeeze the two heels towards one another. Imagine you have a giant beach ball between your legs and you're pulling them, you're squeezing it. That's gonna help keep your base nice and strong. Don't forget about the back hand, the back arm. Lock it out all the way. If you squeeze your fingers together, you can feel how that activates your arms a little bit. And then shoulder blades towards one another, that's gonna help open the chest, a big heart opener here. And cartwheel back down, high plank, eyes are forward. Shift forward, lower down, halfway, core on. Inhale, up dog, and exhale, downward facing dog. All right, warrior one to warrior two with flow. So that same thing, but a little bit quicker. Inhale the right leg, back and up. Exhale, lunge it through, plant the back heel, and on your inhale rise, warrior one, just right into your warrior one, perfect. Exhale, open, a big warrior two, eyes forward, sit nice and low and squeeze your two heels together and flip the palms, reach and stretch your upper body forward, still squeezing your heels together, don't move that front leg at all, and reverse your warrior, nice. So you should keep your two shoulders as if they're on a wall behind you, so beautiful, Claudia, nice example of a reversed warrior. There's no weight in the back leg, Be beautiful, Winnie, so good. Take an inhale together here, and then exhale back to the mat high plank. Eyes are forward again, shift forward, lower down. Inhale, up dog. 
Exhale, downward facing dog. Breath is through the nose, eyes are focused, one spot, keep it simple. Inhale the left leg, back and up, three-legged dog. Exhale, lunge it through, plant the back heel, and inhale, warrior one, just right into your warrior one. Exhale, open, warrior two, clean transition, eyes forward, sit low, squeeze your heels, flip the palms, reach and stretch forward. Still staying low in the front knee, squeezing the heels together, strong, active base to support your warrior, and reverse. Scrape the ceiling as you reach up and back, feeling the breath in your open left rib cage on this side. Nice, Lambo, so good. Keep squeezing the heels together, keep it strong. Eyes are up, looking towards the ceiling past your bicep. Take an inhale together, and then exhale, cartwheel back down, high plank. Shift forward, lower down. Inhale, up dog, open the heart, open the chest, gates back. Exhale, downward facing dog. Eyes land right between the big toes, little breaths. From here, we'll move into warrior one to warrior three. Inhale the right leg, back and up. Exhale, lunge it through. Plant the back heel and inhale, warrior one. Been here before, make sure you're focused on the drishti, your eyes. Mindless gazing points should be at the outside knuckle of your thumbs. Shift the weight forward and press and lift into warrior three. So now your whole body is standing, balancing on your locked out right leg. Your eyes are still forward on your thumbs. Don't let them move, don't let them wander. And Lambo in the front left here is showing a great example of a modification. If you have a shoulder injury, you can always bring the hands down. Otherwise, stay with it, stay strong. Lift the arm, lift the legs, so good. Nice hold, breathe, change. Step it back, land softly, warrior one. And open it up, warrior two. Big step forward, take up space, back leg is locked, strong. Flip the palms, reach and stretch your upper body forward. And reverse, scrape the ceiling, reach up, reach back. And cartwheel back to the mat, high plank. Shift forward, lower down, thigh and core engaged. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. All right, other side, inhale the left leg, back and up, three-legged dog. Exhale, lunge it forward, plant the back heel and inhale, warrior one. Same thing, eyes are focused on the outside knuckle of your thumbs. Feel your whole left foot on the ground and press and lift, warrior three. So when we're in these postures balancing on one leg, our drishti is really, really important, as is our standing leg. So feel your whole foot secure to the floor. Press equally through all four corners of your foot. Nice, so good. And standing legs gotta be locked. So if your knee is bending or wobbling, press stronger, use your strength. Your whole body should be parallel to the floor. So chest lower, leg higher, hips square, reach and stretch, and stretch in both directions. Step it back, almost got you. <laughs> Arms up, warrior one. And open up, warrior two. Big step forward, take up space, get big, get long, get strong. Flip the palms, reach and stretch forward. And reverse, scrape the ceiling as you reach up and back. Cartwheel back to the mat, high plank. Shift forward, lower down, strong core. Inhale, up dog, open the heart. Exhale, downward facing dog. Fingers are spread nice and wide, pushing the chest back towards the thighs. All right, triangle series, inhale the right leg, back and up. Exhale, lunge it through, plant the back heel, straighten both legs, take your right ankle with your right hand, lift, lengthen and open up with the left towards the ceiling. Nice, both legs are straight here, make sure that they are active, they're strong, they're engaged. So don't let them just hyperextend and try to not bend the knee, you really wanna activate both legs. The bottom hand should be grabbing your ankle, maybe a little bit higher up on the shin. Nice, and the left hand is reaching up towards the sky, feeling space between both shoulders, elbows, and wrists. The eyes are up towards your top thumb. Keep lifting up, lift through the chest, reach through the fingers, feel an opening, nice, so good. Keep the back flat as you rotate the left hand back down to the mat. And then shorten up the stance here, just enough to square off the hips. 
Take the right ankle with your left hand and rotate open. Right hand reaches up for the sky. So you wanna just reach straight up. Bring the eyes up. Nice, Jamie, you got it. This one can feel like you're on a little bit of a balance beam. So make sure the back heel stays in contact with the ground and you're rolling the left shoulder underneath the body to help open up the right shoulder a little bit further and change. Again, flat back as you rotate the right hand back down. Find a spot on the floor, keep your eyes there. Just press right into your airplane pose. Arms out wide, standing balancing again on one leg here. Drishti is so important, so keep your eyes exactly where they are. If you'd like to open up into half moon, here's the chance. Beautiful, Cloud, you got it. Eyes are focused, still on that same spot. Nice, Winnie, so pretty, so strong, Jamie, so good, you got it. Come back to an airplane. So lifting the chest, lifting the back leg, Nice. If you revolve, go ahead and revolve. That means left hand down, right hand up. The toes stay pointed. Core is engaged. Standing leg is locked. Come back to airplane. We're going to hold here. Stay here. Eyes focused. Breathing in and out through your nose. If you've fallen out, that's okay. Join us here. Stay strong with control as slow as you can. Get back in a warrior one. Beautiful control. So strong. And then open up, warrior two, eyes forward, chin to front shoulder, sit nice and low into your front knee. Flip the palms, reach and stretch forward and reverse your warrior. Again, trying to keep the two shoulders nice and square. Side angle, right elbow to right knee, left arm reaches up for the sky. Perfect here, you want an elbow to knee connection and then use the elbow to knee connection to help open the hips. So press the knee towards the back of your room. Make sure your chin is close to your top shoulder. Your eyes are up at your right thumb. Your two heels are squeezing towards one another just like that warrior two pose to keep the base active and strong. If you'd like to bind, go for a bind, half or full by bringing the left hand behind the back just like Maria is showing in the front row. You can always stay in that side angle pose. Keep it strong, keep it supported. Beautiful full bind here by Claudia. Same thing with Winnie and Jamie, so good. Nice, if you've bound, open it back up. And then press back to warrior two, nice and strong. Eyes are forward. Cartwheel back to the mat, high plank. Hold here, we'll take our side plank, left hand to center. Stack the feet, stack the hips, and open up the right hand for the sky. If you'd like to take the modified plank we did earlier, you can support this posture by bringing the bottom knee down to the mat. Otherwise, side plank, just like everyone here is demonstrating. And if you want to advance, you can advance. Maybe lifting the top leg up off the bottom leg. Lots of variations here. You can hook the big toe if you like to hook the big toe. If you're staying in that side plank, make sure you've got a clean foot stack. So heel to heel, toe to toe. You're pressing your left hand strong against the floor. So pretty, Claudia. Nice, Winnie. Nice, Jamie. If you advanced it, come back to the side plank. Nice hold, Maria. You got it and then rotate back, do a high plank, eyes are forward. Shift forward, lower down, core engaged. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Eyes between the big toes, little sips of air through our nose. We'll flow through that same sequence on the left. Inhale the left leg, back and up, three-legged dog. Exhale, lunge it through. Plant the back heel, straighten both legs, left hand on left ankle, lift lengthen and open up with the right hand towards the ceiling. Eyes up, chin to top shoulder. Beautiful, both legs are straight and locked out. We're trying to find length Ooh, down our spine here, so make sure you're finding length. Reaching the crown of your head forward and feeling your hips come back. Finding that triangle, the top of the triangle along your spine. Chin is close to the top shoulder. Eyes are up towards the ceiling. Beautiful, reaching through the fingers, feeling space from one hand to the other. Keep your back flat as you rotate the right hand back down to the mat. Again, shortening up the stance here, just enough to square the hips, and then take the left ankle with the right hand, tuck the right shoulder under the body, and lift the left hand up for the ceiling. So good, you wanna stack the two shoulders right on top of each other, on top of the left ankle. Eyes are up as far as you can see. Catherine, can you rotate your hand a little bit so the thumb is more forward? Forward, forward, yeah, there you go, nice, so good. Beautiful, keep both legs straight, keep pressing down with your feet and lifting up with your core, your chest, your shoulders are reaching up higher and higher, nice Lambo. Keep your back flat, rotate the left hand back down. So good, find one spot for your eyes and fly. Airplane pose, arms out wide, 
core is engaged, our whole body becomes parallel to the floor. Nice, so upper body down, leg up. Standing leg locked, eyes exactly where they are. Don't let them move. And if you did it on the other side for symmetry, let's do it on this side too, half moon. Left hand down, right hand up, eyes are still on the floor. You flex the toes here and you gotta stack the hips, one on top of the other. So you open up further and further than you wanna go all the way against a wall. Nice, come back to airplane with control. Keep lifting the leg, keep lifting the chest. That's okay. If you fall out, you can always rejoin us in an airplane and revolve. If you did it on the other side, right hand down, left hand up, keep the eyes focused one spot keep your breath steady come back to airplane and remember we held it so get into it standing leg locked whole foot on the floor breathe little sips of air you got it stay strong change with control nice and slow beautiful warrior one right into your warrior one open up warrior two big and strong posture right into it chin to shoulder eyes forward heels squeezing towards one another and flip the palms, reach and stretch your upper body forward. Reverse, scrape the ceiling, little to no weight in the back hand. Side angle, left elbow, left knee, right fingers stretch up towards the sky. And here we spread the fingers wide, unlike the Bikram triangle in our side angle. Open hands, nice. Same thing as before, try to open the hips by pressing the elbow into the knee, perfect. Beautiful, back leg is locked out, the heels squeeze together, the core is always engaged, supported, strong. And if you did on the other side, go for that half or full bind. If you're taking a bind, don't allow it to collapse your posture. So still pressing your left heel strong into the ground, opening up your right shoulder, rolling it back, and the core is strong. Nice, Lambo, good. Come back to side angle if you bound and press back to a strong warrior two, eyes forward. Cartwheel back to the mat, high plank. Hold here, side plank, right hand to center, stack the feet, stack the hips, and reach the left hand and the eyes up for the sky. Nice, beautiful. Again, take that modification if you took it, or if you want to advance, go for it. Advanced variation, easiest advanced variation is just lifting the top leg up off the bottom leg. That's one option. And then another option, if you have the flexibility for it, you can hook the big toe like you see Claudia, Jamie, Winnie doing here. So good. No matter what you're doing, the core is strong. You're lifting the hips up and you're pressing the right hand against the ground. Still breathing no matter where you are. Nice. With control. Come back to side plank first and then rotate back to a high plank. Eyes are forward, core engaged. Shift forward, lower down, elbows in. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. All right, we'll take a few knee to nose here and then we'll work our way into our lunge. So inhale the right leg back and up. Point the toe, we're just gonna warm up the core a little bit more. Exhale, bring the knee into the nose. Squeeze it there and hold it there. Notice how the body weight shifts a little bit forward and actually get the knee to touch the nose if you can. Belly button to spine. Inhale, stretch it back and long. Inhale, come knee to right elbow this time. Make it touch, beautiful. See if you can pull it up high on the tricep. Hold it here, hold it here. Little sips of air coming in and out through the nose. Inhale it back and up, three-legged dog. This time we're coming across the body. Knee to left elbow, exhale, squeeze it in, and then take little sips of air once you're there. Beautiful, shoulders are stacked over the wrist, the knee is touching the elbow, hold. Change, stretch it back, three-legged dog. Just one more time, bring the knee into the nose, squeeze it there, flex the toes, plant the heel up by the right hand, and then inhale into your lunge, Anjane Asana. You're staying high on the ball of the left toes. Arms come up shoulder distance apart here. Spread the fingers nice and wide. Sit low, square hips. Beautiful, nice. From here, bring the hands down to heart center. Change your gaze over the left shoulder and twist to the left, or to the right, sorry. Hooking your left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Everybody knew which direction to go anyways. So good, you want a nice clean stack, trying to get the elbows right on top of one another, pressing strong into the hands to help lift the chest up. And the back leg is locked out the entire time or bringing the knee down for support. If you like to open up your hands, you can open up your hands. So right hand reaches up for the sky, left hand reaches down for the floor, keeping the back leg locked. Nice, Winnie, that's so, so strong, good job. And bring the hands back to heart center if you opened them up. 
Rotate the upper body back to center. Core is engaged here. Take an inhale together. And exhale back to the mat. High plank. Shift forward. Chaturanga. Lower on down. Inhale. Up dog. Exhale. Press the hips back. Downward facing dog. Little sips of air in and out through the nose. And knee to nose on the left. Inhale the left leg back and up. Exhale, knee to nose, squeeze it in, make it touch if you can. Nice, pull the belly button in. And inhale it back and up, three-legged dog. Exhale, bring the knee to the left elbow this time. Squeeze, we're gonna hold it here. So take little breaths, little sips of air. See if you can pull the knee up even higher on the tricep. Nice, Winnie, stay strong. Inhale it back, three-legged dog, nice work. Come across the body this time, knee to right elbow. If you can, make it touch. Notice there's a little twist, core is engaged. So pulling the belly button as high in towards your spine as you can, rounding the spine. And then inhale the leg back and up, three-legged dog. One more time, knee to nose, squeeze it in, make it touch. Flex the toes and plant the foot up by the left hand. Stay high on the ball of the right toes and inhale, arms straight up overhead, shoulder distance, fingers spread wide for lunge pose, nice. So you wanna to work to square the hips and keep the back leg locked out all the way, nice. Traps are relaxed, so there should be space between the ears and the shoulders. And then bring the hands together, down to heart center, keep the back leg locked or bring the knee down, change the gaze over the left shoulder and this time we'll twist to the left. Hook the right elbow to the outside of the knee, beautiful, back leg is still straight and strong, the eyes are up, so chin to top shoulder. And if you did on the other side, you can open up the hands, left hand up, right hand down, stacking the two shoulders on top of one another, reaching the fingers in both directions, feeling some opening as you press the elbow into the knee, feeling a deeper twist. If you open the hands, bring them back together, heart center, come back to center, beautiful. Inhale together here, and then exhale back to the mat, high plank, Core engage, shift forward, lower down. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. So good, and a series to get up to a stand, bend the knees, gaze forward. Step, jump, or flo float to the top. <laughs> Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, circle, sweep the arms out, back and up, eyes up, stretch up. And hands to heart center. Release in mountain pose. Just be still. We begin our standing series with eagle pose. Arms up, over the head sideways. Identify which arm is right, which is left. Take the right, swing it under the left. Twist up the arms like ropes. You can have the hands in prayer or interlace the fingers. And then pull the elbows down towards center. Sit the hips down into a chair. Just keep the chest high, the hips stay where they are. Just the right leg lifts up and over the left. Nice. Maybe the toes hook behind the calf muscle, but there's no need to force the hook. Beautiful. Nice, and then sit the hips even lower. Keep lifting the chest up even higher. Eventually, getting all the joints to stack down the center of the body. This side, knees to the right, upper body to the left. Lift the chest up one more time. Change. Arms come up straight into left side, arms up over the head sideways, and left arm swings underneath the right. Again, twisting up the arms, interlaced fingers or hands in prayer, pull the elbows down and sit down into a chair, nice and low. This time, left leg up, over the right. Nice, the higher you lift the leg, the deeper you can twist. Maybe the toes hook pointing in that direction, so one day they'll get there. And then this side, knees left, upper body right. Eventually, all the joints stack down center, so wrists, elbows, knees, ankles in one clean line. Sit the hips lower. See if you can feel the weight in your standing heel. Use that to sit lower and lift the chest higher. Change. Arms up, over the head sideways and release the arms down by your side, mountain pose. Standing bow, left arm up, palm forward, five fingers together, right elbow to your right waist, palm face up. Reach back, grab your right foot from the inside at the ankle, five fingers together. 
Bring the knees together to touch. So this is our base. You can stay right here. It's a perfect base. Palm is forward, one straight line down the left side of your body. If you're ready to go into this posture, start with a kick. So just kick first. Kick to your maximum. Eventually, your body is compelled to come down. You run out of space for that backward bend. Focus here is on the standing leg. Keep it locked solid. Don't let it bend, don't let it wobble, and kick and reach equal. Simultaneous 50-50. So allow the body to come down naturally with the strength of the kick. So good. Eyes are forward. Reach your fingers forward, shoulder to chin. Keep kicking, body down, leg up. Change with control. Come back to that base that we started with and then release, mountain pose. Beautiful, nice work. Other side, right hand up, left elbow, left waist, palm up. So without turning or twisting your wrist, reach straight back and pick up your left foot from the inside at the ankle. Five fingers together, that means your thumb is right next to your index finger. Again, notice this base. You can stay right here and practice standing on one leg, or if you're ready to kick, kick. So just kick the leg straight back, keep reaching straight up. So you wanna create that bow tension with the equal kick and the reach, but the reach can stay up. It doesn't necessarily need to come down and forward until your body is ready for that. Beautiful examples here of standing bows. It should be a big shoulder opener, so allow the kick to pull your left shoulder behind you. At the same time, reach your right shoulder forward. Eventually the two shoulders in one line, two heels in one line, body down, leg up change with control nice work everybody come back through the base and mountain pose standing tall and still second set left hand up right elbow right waist palm face up reach back and grab the right foot same setup so you want to grab the foot right at the ankle the second set's always a little bit shorter so we're going for depth here start to kick kick straight back and straight up see if you can land right where you left off in that first set keep locking the standing leg strong and then maybe finding your edge practicing there breathing there seeing if you've got a little bit more today keep kicking keep reaching keep kicking body down leg up change with control nice work come back through that base and release stand tall other side, right arm up, palm forward, five fingers together, left elbow, left waist, palm up, reach back, grab the left foot, same thing. On this side, bring the knees together, reach straight up, keep that reach, and kick. Just kick, get right into it, dive in. Just a short posture here, go to your maximum, find your edge, be stable, be steady, be strong, keep kicking, keep reaching, bring your body down, bring the shoulder to the chin, kick and kick and kick, change. With control, come back through the base, the knees touch, and release. Stand tall, dead pose. Turn around, feet face the back, head forward. You can close your eyes in this dead pose and just be still. Be as still as you possibly can. Allowing that whole standing series to just wash right through you. Nothing but breath. Come back to the breath. Stay with the breath. If you closed your eyes, slowly blink them open. Coming back into this space, coming back into your body. And we'll start our floor series with wind removing pose. So bend the right knee up, interlace all 10 fingers around your right knee. Pull it out and down towards your right shoulder, avoiding your rib cage. Nice. Make sure the left leg is straight. If it's not, you can flex the toes on the left foot to get the calf muscle to touch the floor. Nice little hip flexor opener on the left leg as well. Pull the right knee in a little bit harder, feel the compression in the right hip 
abdomen on that side and change right leg down. Bend the left knee up, interlace all 10 fingers and switch the grip so your opposite thumb is on top. The grip is a part of this posture and every little detail matters. So make sure you've got that tight grip and left knee towards left shoulder, chin down towards your chest, nice long spine. Eyes are open for the remainder of our practice and the breathing is still in and out through the nose. Change left leg down and then bend both knees up and grab for opposite elbows so you're hugging your knees. If you can't get your elbows, get as close as possible to your elbows. The feet should be together side by side, relaxed position. Eyes are still open, breathing normal, chin down towards the chest. Squeeze the knees in a little bit tighter here, feeling compression and transverse colon. And change, arms down, legs down, be still. Next is our Bikram style sit up. So toes and heels together, flex the feet, arms up, thumbs crossed. Arms and head together, inhale, breathing quickly, sit up. Dive for the toes, double jerk, double exhale. Forehead to knees, elbows to the floor. Paschimottanasana, this is a little forward fold here. And then turn around, lie on your tummies for our spine strengthening series. Spine strengthening starts with cobra pose, bhujangasana, hands underneath the shoulders, lying on our bellies, chin on the floor, five fingers are together, fingertips in line with the tops of the shoulders, baby fingers in line with your deltoids. Keep your hands there, then make the cobra's tail. That means two legs become one. Heels touching, legs are locked. Exhale, and then inhale, lift just the upper body up. We're using the strength of the lower body, not really pressing into the hands. They're just there for support. Stretch the elbows down towards the hips, chin up, eyes up, squeeze the legs strong, tight cobra's tail, lift up one more inch. Nice change, bring the chin down first, then eyes to the right, left ear down, arms by your side, release, relax, be still. Chin forward, set up for almost the same posture, only this time slide the heels of the hands down towards the hips. It's the same cobra's tail, lock the knees, point the toes, exhale. And then an inhale, lift the legs and the chest up. This time pressing into the palms, beautiful. You can slide the chest forward and through, heels all the way together, Jamie, if you can, so good, you got it, nice. Lift the chest, press into the hands, one more inch up. Change, chin down. Eyes to the left this time, right ear down and arms relaxed by your side. This is a dead pose. So being still, allowing your body to naturally restore between postures. Bring the chin forward and arms out wide like airplane wings. Palms face down, five fingers together. Bring the legs together, cobra's tail, heels touch, knees locked, exhale. Inhale, lift everything up, eyes up, chest up, legs up, arms up, keep lifting up. If you squeeze the shoulder blades together, see if you can lift the chest up a little bit higher. Eyes up, body follows the gaze. If you look back a little bit further, can you go back a little bit higher? Nice, one more lift. Change, bring the chin down first. Eyes right, left ear down, be still. So I always instruct to bring the chin down first, and that's just so you're not cranking on your neck as you're coming out of these postures. You wanna come down nice and straight. Once you're down, you're, you can control your head movement side to side, then turn your head whichever direction we're going. Just taking care of the neck. And bring the chin forward, setting up for the next posture. Interlace all 10 fingers behind the low back. Nice, lifting the arms up off the back if you can. Beautiful, cobra's tail. This is our last one, so make it strong. Lock knees, pointed toes, exhale, and then inhale, lift everything up. Again, chest up, arms up, legs up, everything up. Stretch the knuckles towards the heels. That's gonna open the shoulders a little bit more. Nice, Jamie, good. Separate the arms, come out wide, back to this airplane pose. Squeeze the shoulders together, lift up a little bit higher. Stay with your breath, arms forward. Shoulder distance, the feet now separate to hip distance. Still breathing, see if you can lift up even higher. Look up, lift up, lift up, lift up. Change with control, softly land. 
Arms by your side, eyes to the left, right ear down. Be still. Bring the chin forward, bend the knees, floor bow is next. It's grabbing for the feet, couple of inches below the toes. We grab from the outside, and five fingers are together. You wanna keep six inches between the knees and the feet throughout this posture. Press your lower abdomen into the floor, and then inhale, kick. Kick right into your floor bow. So just like the standing bow and our floor bow, the kick is what is driving the posture. It's a strong and constant kick. Again, weight is forward, so your lower abdomen should be resting on the ground, not your hips or pelvis. So you got to get up and over the hips, keep kicking, strong kick. Feet together, knees closer, breathe in and out through the nose, one more kick up. Change, bring the knees down with control, eyes to the right, left ear down. And just breathe. Allow the body to be soft, be heavy, be still. Chin forward, second set, bend the knees. Reach back, grab the feet. The second set will be a little bit shorter. Let's see if you can go right to where you left off. The body's gonna be a little bit warmer. Second set, see if you've got more. Take an exhale and inhale, kick. Right into it, beautiful, strong bows. Nice, try to keep the knees close. They wanna bow out, keep them in tight. Wrists are straight, toes are pointed, chin up, chest up. Allow the kick to be what's opening your shoulders and what's pulling you back. Can you kick straight up? Beautiful, one more kick. Change with control, slowly bring your body back down and then eyes go left, right ear down, arms by your side, completely relaxed. And bring your hands under your shoulders, Press yourself back into a child's pose here. So knees spread wide, just like we started our class. Tips of the big toes touch. Hands reach forward, spread the fingers and forehead resting on the mat. Eyes are open. Make sure you got about shoulder distance between the hands. Just taking a moment to breathe here. And then turn over onto your backs for happy baby pose. Nice. Once you're on your back, feet are up in the air, bend the knees, reach for the insides of your feet, grabbing the arches from the insides. You want to stack the heels directly over the knees, spreading the knees on either side of your rib cage. Once you've got a tight grip, use the push and the pull here to traction out your spine. So you want to push through your heels and pull against that push through your heels with your hands. As you're kicking your heels up and you're pulling your feet back down, you should be able to feel a little length as your tailbone slowly gets closer to the floor. Chin down towards the chest to help create length in your spine. And then change. Release the arms, release the legs, and be still. Dead pose. Another sit up, toes and heels together. Side by side, arms up over the head, thumbs crossed. Inhale quickly, sit up, dive for the toes, double jerk, double exhale. Those happen simultaneously. Nice, and then turn around, come to the top of the mat for our first backward bend. This is camel pose. So for camel pose, standing up on the knees at the top of the mat, about six inches between the knees and the feet, tops of the feet are flat to the floor. Hands come onto the lower back, fingers down, thumbs outside, elbows close. Press the hips forward, lift the chest up, and inhale into your backward bend. Beautiful, nice. You want to keep pushing the hips forward, keeping the hips stacked over the knees, and lifting the chest up. That's going to keep your total spine in the backward bend. If you're warm enough for this, you can advance this posture or continue this posture by bringing your right hand to right heel, left hand to left heel. Make sure you're warm enough and continue to push your hips forward and lift your chest up. Nice, Catherine. Nice, Jamie. Beautiful heart opener here. So allow your body to be open. Allow your breath to flow through this posture. Change one step at a time. Right hand, right hip, left hand, left hip. Lift the gaze. Sit the hips to the heels to release. 
and then turn around, dead pose. Just as quickly, efficiently as possible, right into dead pose and let it go. Second backward bend is your choice. You can take another camel like we just did. Dialogue will be for wheel. You can also take any other backward bend you have in your practice. So if you're doing wheel, bend the knees and bring the heels in close to the hips. Plant the hands up over the shoulders, fingers point towards the toes, and then press the hips up to the sky. Beautiful examples of a wheel poses here all around. You want to make sure the feet stay straight, parallel to one another. They don't V in or out, beautiful. And if you have deep backward bends, you can walk the hands and the feet closer to one another to tighten up the wheel. Make sure you never rest the head on the ground here. If you're struggling to get up, it's better that you practice backward bending in a different posture than to rest your head on the ground and try this posture. Beautiful. If you walked it in, walk it out first, tuck the chin into the chest and slowly come down, protecting your spine, taking your time to work your way out of your wheel. Beautiful. And then release, dead pose. Back release of choice. You can stay right in that dead pose if that works for you. Take another happy baby. Whatever your back is calling for at this point in time, rock and roll. Just little sacrum circles, anything where you're rounding the spine in contrast to those big, open, extended backs that we just had, it's probably gonna feel pretty good. The next posture is shoulder stand. So for shoulder stand, lifting the feet up to the sky, use a little momentum like you're going into a backward somersault and lift the hips up towards the sky, hands come onto the back starting at the lower back, but eventually walking your hands closer to your shoulders, and your body weight is resting on your shoulders and your elbows. Still breathing in and out through your nose. Feel the weight in your elbows and your shoulders, not in your neck, and don't move your head here. Keep it exactly where it is. Beautiful. Eventually, you want to stack everything in one clean line, so you have shoulders, hips, and heels all in a line. So pretty, so good. Stretch the toes up like they're going to touch the ceiling. Nice, and transition into plow pose. So tipping the toes over the head, maybe they come all the way down to the floor. Throughout this transition, still feel the weight in the elbows and the shoulders. Don't allow it to come forward into the neck. Nice, and you can keep the hands on the back for support. Feet are down, you can walk them as far forward as is comfortable for you. And an option here, if you wanna bend the knees and take a deaf man's pose, closing off the ears, that might feel good on your body. You can bind it by grabbing for opposite elbows. So pretty, nice. And change, slowly work your way back down, taking care, coming out, allowing your spine to slowly roll back down. And finding a dead pose, be still. Supine twist, bend the right knee up and give it a squeeze towards the right shoulder and then use your left hand, pull the right knee across the body, stack the hips right in the center and open up the gaze and the right hand towards the right side of the room. So bring the chin towards the shoulder and the eyes over to the right. It's gonna allow the neck to get into the twist, just in our total spine here. And every inhale, see if you can find length, find space. And every exhale, twist a little bit deeper. And change, bring the right leg back to center. You can give it another squeeze. And then release the right leg. Bend the left knee up. Give the left knee a squeeze towards left shoulder. And then pull the left knee across the body with the right hand. Stack the hips in the center, so that may mean you need to lift the hips and slide the right hip closer to center. Left hand opens up, same thing with the gaze. And again, use your breath in this posture. Inhales will lengthen, exhales will deepen. And this twist, it can feel pretty good to take big, full, long, extended breaths. And change, come back to center. Give the left knee another squeeze. 
Maybe bring the right knee in, give them both a hug. Maybe even lift the forehead to touch the knees if that feels good. And then release, final dead pose. Let everything go. Be still, be heavy. Be as still as you possibly can be. Just as we began, let's end our class by breathing together. We'll take three breaths. So empty your lungs to the bottom. And then together, take a big inhale. Fill the lungs, fill the belly, rise. Big, full. And exhale all the way to the bottom. Let it out. One more time, another big inhale. Feel the belly, feel the ribs. Notice the expansion, big, full lungs. Hold and release. Exhale to the bottom. Take your time. Get all the way empty. Last one. Biggest, deepest, fullest breath that you can take right here. Get big, get full. If it's uncomfortable, that's okay. Hold it there. Let it go. In yoga, we find union by finding our breath. It was an honor to move and breathe with all of you today. Thank you so much for joining us from home. I hope to have you all again soon. Namaste. Namaste.